The worst part about building a new computer is getting it all in your case and getting it all cable managed and all pre-fied and zip tied down and it's just you're like, I look at my masterpiece. Bench testing enables you to identify any components that are faulty and it also saves a lot of headaches when you have to troubleshoot when your PC does not turn on. So this is what bench testing looks like. This is me testing my components as soon as I got them. Now since I've done it at the start, it means I can see if my components actually work or not. If nothing happens, then I can go on from there. It makes everything more simple. You see how I've got all my components stretched out on the bench, hence the name bench testing. So I have tried to come up with a simple, easy to follow along method for how to bench test your component. Before I start, make sure the power is turned off, including the power supply switch. If it is not, you may fry your components. So for bench testing, only the components that are necessary to turn the PC on are needed. First thing you want to do is install your CPU, CPU fan and heatsink. Secondly, you want to install your RAM and you would have to insert the RAM stick into the slot, whichever your motherboard manual says to. RAM slots usually have a specific order that you have to place the RAM sticks in. And then you can plug in the 8-pin CPU power cable from the PSU. The 8-pin slot on your motherboard should look like this. And then plug in the 24-pin cable from the power supply. This this pin will power the whole motherboard. And then you want to plug in the front panel connectors from the case into the motherboard. And this has to be done according to the manual of the motherboard you have. Now make sure this part is done very precisely and correctly because a lot of mistakes can happen in this step. I myself have made a lot of mistakes in this area with putting the front panel connectors in different pins. Now after everything is done, press the power button on your case. And if the fans turn on and there is light on the motherboard and everything seems to be on, you have successfully done all the steps. And it means that your components are not faulty and and you can continue building your PC. However, if it does not turn on, then I encourage you to go back and check the front panel connectors because that's where the majority of the mistakes can be made. But if that doesn't work, then that means your power supply could be faulty. If you have another power supply, then use that one instead of the power supply you're using right now. If your PC turns on, fans turn on, lights come on, then that means power supply is faulty. Now to check if the CPU is faulty, check the easy debug LED. All modern motherboards have easy debug LED and that's what you want to check. If the CPU light is on and the CPU is either faulty or it's not installed properly, so you make sure to have a look. The easy debug LEDs make it very easy to pinpoint where the problem is, and then you can go about fixing that problem 